not. Harry and Meghan laughed out of Baftu over Rebel Wilson's cruel dig at their nasty Oprah chat. Rebel Wilson made a shocking jibe at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey as she hosted the BAFTA Film Awards at the Royal Albert Hall in London on Sunday. Rebel Wilson hosted the 2022 BAFTAs on BBC One and she is known for her dry sense of humour on the stage. The Australian actress, 42, said the special, which aired on CBS in the United States on ITV in the UK in March last year, had everything from drama to fantasy but was unfortunately not nominated in the Outstanding British Film category at this year's BAFTAs. Introducing the nominations, Rebel said, from drama to fantasy, Harry and Meghan's Oprah interview had it all. Unfortunately, that's not nominated in this category, but some incredible films are. Let's take a look at some of the most outstanding British films this year. The comedian was met with some awkward laughs and cringing looks from the audience. Harry, 37, and Meghan's interview, which was nominated for a 2021 Television Critics Award, a Primetime Emmy Award, and a People's Choice Award, was broadcast a year after they announced they were stepping down as working members of the royal family in January 2020. The couple discussed their courtship and wedding, the sex of daughter Lilibet, who was born in June last year, Meghan's suicidal thoughts, and their feelings of emotional and financial abandonment by the royal family. Meghan, 40, also said comments had been made privately to Harry by someone within the royal family in relation to the skin color of their then unborn son Archie, now too. They also spoke of a royal title for Archie, the couple's personal security, and Harry's estrangement from his father Prince Charles, 73, and brother Prince William, 39, as well as Meghan's relationship with her estranged family. Rebel also made a dig at Prince Andrew, Duke of York, 62, who made a reference to restaurant chain Pizza Express during his 2019 Newsnight interview as part of an alibi about the day he is alleged to have slept with his teenage sex accuser Virginia Roberts who said she was trafficked to London by the prince's paedophile friend Jeffrey Epstein when she was just 17. During the BAFTA ceremony, Rebel said, So I was going to do a musical number as host, it was about Prince Andrew though. Um, no guys, it's no, it's not what you think. It was on roller skates, it's called Pizza Express. But don't worry, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna sing. I'm saving my voice for the sequel to Cats. Later on in the ceremony, Prince William issued a pre-recorded message to viewers as he was unable to attend the Royal Albert Hall in person. He said, as president of BAFTA I am extremely proud to see the work that BAFTA undertakes year-round to provide opportunities and support for talented people to develop successful careers in film, games and television. BAFTA hopes to inspire and support future generations from all walks of life to become filmmakers of the future and I hope that for some of those watching these awards the journey starts today. Congratulations to all the nominees and winners and I wish you all a wonderful evening. But while some jokes hit the mark, others complained that her hosting was cringeworthy. Piers Morgan tweeted, I'm cringing so violently watching Rebel Wilson attempt to host the hashtag BAFTAs that I fear my eye sockets may explode. The actress opened the show last night saying, you guys might be like, why is Rebel Wilson hosting the BAFTAs, isn't she Australian? Yes, I come from the bush. If you think about it, don't we all? She also told the audience of film industry greats that she would be taking over as the first female James Bond. Rebel joked that her appearance would usher in a the new logo, drawing a version with the OO in 007 turned into a pair of breasts. In another joke Rebel said, when you become the host they give you a list of everyone who has get their way to the nomination. Not who you'd expect. Lots of visual effects guys. Act.